Here's an update on that daily forecast as we progress to the rest of our Tuesday. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher and those low pesky clouds have been slow to break for a lot of us. That inversion in the atmosphere, the lid on the atmosphere is not letting things mix out, which would allow it more sunshine to mix back in. It's a process, my friends, and unfortunately this process didn't happen as soon as I expected it to. But Friday, we will start to see a cold front head our way, and that's going to spill in some much needed rain around the area. So that's our next weather maker. But in the meantime, after highs today, maybe in the 60s for some, again, clouds keep a, uh, the atmosphere cooler, right? It doesn't allow us to heat up during the day. And so many of our temperatures will probably stay in the 50s. But either way you look at it, it's going to be a nice, cool evening. So if you have dinner plans tonight, if you have practices or outdoor activities, just keep an eye on uh, the, keep the fact that you'll need those jackets for sure. Overnight tonight, we should become mostly clear, and that's going to allow those morning low temperatures to really fall off. We're talking lows back down into the 20s. Excuse me, not the 20s. Not there yet. How about 30s and the 40s? So another chilly start to our day. But then abundant sunshine is anticipated throughout the day on Wednesday. So some nice weather on the way with warmer temperatures. So as we look ahead over the next three days, we'll stay in the 70s Wednesday, Thursday, back closer to those seasonal averages. And then low 60s, so kind of a cooler rain, but also some instability in the atmosphere that may lead to some thunderstorm activity. And that's associated with a trough from our north digging across the deep south, and that's going to push a cold front into our area. So we'll likely start morning, uh, the morning off on Friday with some scattered showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, especially as the front comes on through. That provides lift in the atmosphere. When you force the air to rise, you cool it, condense it, and if it rises fast enough, you'll get thunderstorms to develop. Some breezy conditions on into our Friday night and Saturday morning back behind the front. How much clearing do we see through the day on Saturday? I do anticipate clouds first thing in the morning, some clearing throughout the day on Saturday, and then hopefully a little bit more sunshine and lighter wind on Sunday. But when you look at our rainfall chances, Friday is the day to pick up some beneficial rain where we could see anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rainfall around East Tennessee. So some much needed rain. And looking ahead towards the end of the month, models indicating that we could see Maybe above average temperatures. How much above? Yet to be determined. But the possibility of slightly above or at least above average temperatures can be anticipated. And then Knoxville will hit the 70s Wednesday, Thursday, drop into the low 60s with some showers and thunderstorms, some beneficial rain on Friday, uh, and then improving conditions with some mid to upper 60s for the weekend and the start of next week. Chattanooga, you're going to see improving conditions a little bit sooner, especially Saturday and Sunday. So I do anticipate a lot more sunshine for you folks as uh, the cold front moves its way from west to east. Now, the Tri-Cities, you'll probably hang on to the showers a little bit longer on Saturday uh, as the cold front continues to track its way over into the Carolinas and then into Virginia. And then Crossville, same with you folks. You're going to see improving conditions a little bit sooner on Saturday and Sunday than everybody else because you're just a little bit further west. And again, our storm systems move from west to east. We'll end with you folks uh, in Gatlinburg, Sevier County, the National Park. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful Wednesday and Thursday, increasing high clouds on Thursday, some showers and thunderstorms, and then cool low to mid 60s. It does not look like we'll see any snow with this next storm system. So if you're trying to find some of that, hopefully you had a chance to get up to the high country today.